Hey everybody, welcome back to A Slice of Gaming. I'm the only Python 4. This is Kirby and the Crystal Shards for the Nintendo 64. This is level 4 Neostar. Let's get right into it. This is where we last left off. So let's explore and see what this world's all about, shall we? Looks like we are back in the jungle. So we'll first equip ourselves with stone. And I don't know if that's considered needle or not. I'm pretty sure that would be, though, just based on the fact that he's throwing spears at us. But who knows? It's hard to say with this game. Who knows what is a, a power-up, and who knows what's not. Sometimes you just don't know until you, you know, take the chance. So let's make sure we don't fall into those spikes. I kind of am tempted to see if this is stone needle, but I don't know for sure. Oh, I was just going to say, what happened? Exactly. Land. Thank you. Oh, no! Oh, that turned out to be nothing. That's unfortunate. We're going to have to go back a little bit. Give me your stone power. There we go. Now at least we have something to work with. That's weird. I thought that would for sure be Needle, but it doesn't look that way. Sometimes you just don't know. Sometimes those uh, where those stars are are like a complete trap too, so you just have to be careful. Stone and Cutter. Oh, that's the um, the thing that we use for rolling the, the bird. I'd rather not waste my time with that right now. I'd rather get something else that's more useful. Plus, I know, like, way later in another stage, I think? Not in this particular one, that's for sure. That we'll need to have a stone and bomb, which I'm pretty sure we haven't gotten quite yet. So that'll be interesting. We'll see what that's going to be like. I'm looking forward to it. I'm trying to remember all the other ones that we've done. Oh, here we go. First order of business, though, is having one of those in our hands, for sure. Yep, there we go. Just had to check something quick here, too. Oh. Was it worth risking our life for a popsicle? Well, I guess we got the health we lost back, I suppose. So there's that. It's weird that that axe thing is a stone, but the thing that's throwing the spears definitely, definitely is not. I don't think this is a power, I'm pretty sure. I'd be weird if it was, because there's no flight power in this, that's for sure. Oh, I guess we should climb up here instead. Should we climb up, or should we climb down? We should climb down. I'm thinking up is actually the way to go. There we go. Secrets. Always go in the opposite direction that the game points you towards. With that, you will be able to oops, find a secret. No, don't you hit me, sir. Although this power is a little bit inconvenient for this part, since we do have, you know, a power that's more used for hitting from above than hitting from... or hitting from below, I should say, than hitting from above. So it's going to be a little bit hard. Well, I guess we can use the shrapnel, I guess, but we just have to make sure we don't go careening down where we came from, because that would be kind of sad. Oh, yeah, I knew that was going to happen. I'm like, I'm going to either hit that thing or something else is going to happen. So, yeah, because sometimes trying to squeeze past things can be a little bit rough. Oh, yeah, this is the perfect time to talk about it. So I was doing a little bit of reading on this game, and weirdly, as we've seen the sandwich down there... Um, they edited out the fact that that was originally a rice bowl. Like, it was one of those, like, weird, I don't know, I don't want to say censoring per se, but, you know, plebeian North Americans do not know what a rice ball is, I guess. It's just really weird when they do that, because they did that a lot in, like, the old Pokemon series as well, which they, you know, edited out rice balls for sandwiches, and I don't quite understand why, other than... Like I said, plebeian North Americans don't know what rice balls are, I guess. People will know most likely what a sandwich is, I suppose. It's just really weird how they do that. Oh, thought I had to fly across. I'm like, there is no way Kirby's going to make all of that. Come on now. I have to keep my attention, too, to make sure I don't miss the possible chance of shards. Yeah, there's a lot of weird series, especially from four kids that did really weird censoring on things that made no sense. Like, I know there is one censoring on, like, um... I'm trying to remember what it was now. One of the censorings that was done, I know back in the old Pokemon animes, or not anime, but, uh... I think it was Yu-Gi-Oh! where they took off, like, the signs to the bathroom or something like that. It was weird. It's like these weird little things that, like, don't make a whole lot of sense. Like, as to why they would have censorship on these things. It was weird. But, you know, it's like, it was a weird four kids decision. Where they f failed like everything was kind of like weirdly offensive for some reason. I don't know. Really strange. 
I don't think Four Kids is around anymore, from what I remember. I know they did like a lot of those shows that were on Fox. I want to say back in the day of Saturday morning cartoons that I used to watch as a teenager slash older adult. But that's fine. Yeah, I'm trying to. I know there was. Was there Yu-Gi-Oh in the morning? No, there was. There was definitely Sonic X. From what I remember, there was like a weird show that was like an Italian animation being the Winx Club, I think? Oh man, Fox Mornings. I know One Piece was a thing back in the day, too. Um, that was like on there too, and I remember that one having really bizarre censorship or so I've heard anyways. There's like, yeah. Old cartoons, man. They're really fun to watch. There's a weird video of them of all the cartoons from back in Fox that I think I posted back on, like, uh... Oh no! <laughs> I saw that up there, and I'm like, mm, nothing bad could possibly happen. I'm gonna have to go back and get that stone later, too. But it's not really important for right now, anyways. Come into my mouth! No, he is unwilling. So I have to attack him from above, I see. Yeah, there's a video out there of like all of the cartoon characters back in the Fox Kids days of all of them singing the National U.S. Anthem. It's really weird. <laughs> Needless to say, I remember, I do remember posting that, being like, this is the best version of the National Anthem for the U.S., I'm pretty sure. It's not, it's pretty bad. It's like the English voice actor singing the U.S. National Anthem, so you kind of get an idea in their character. So you kind of get an idea of how, like, mm, this might be kind of bad. So yeah. Oh, something I just realized too is I lost a life bat there. I had a whole bunch of lives before, and this game does the exact same thing as the other Kirby's where you don't get to keep your lives after you restart the game. That kind of sucks, because I had a lot of them. Oops. I had a feeling that was either going to happen. I was like, is either going to die to the one that's above me or die to the one that's below me? Ooh, invincibility! It's also really weird to hear the invincibility music be very different, too, in this anyways. Oh! Well, I got double stone. I only wanted singular stone, but I guess that works. Ooh, almost died there. Make sure we don't accidentally careen myself off the edge. I think a better idea would just be just to- Ah, come on! That was so cheap! That was also so cheap! No, my double stone is better than nothing. There we go. Now that the world's order has been back in place, actually, what I should do is, before I totally forget, is I should grab stone now, while I'm thinking about it, so I don't have to backtrack. Grab you, thank you. And now we can get shards and other levels. Well, since we lost all of our 1-ups, I might as well get them. Again. Also, somebody was uh, telling me in the comments, Lover Asaki, thank you for telling me this, that the cards at the very end there are more just collectible things, so they really don't matter too much about getting them 100%, which is kind of nice. Because, you know, getting them in that perfectly timed uh, thing and getting all of them would be kind of a pain. So that's good, that they're just like a collectible thing that's not really... Oh no! i seen that up there. Uh-oh. Wait, wait, wait. A better thing to do would just be to do this. Now that I know that's on the left-hand side. There it is. There. Now we can continue onwards. Waddle Dee, shall we go, my friend? I love how cute this is, too. And I was also doing more research on what the uh, multiplayer thing is. It's actually not what I thought it was at all. It was actually just, um, it's actually just a bunch of minigames. So, yeah, like, back in the Kirby Superstar thing, you know how they had, like, the reaction minigame, or you had to, like, do things at a certain time, that sort of thing. Oh no! I think I don't- yeah, I was meant to go up there. Uh, that's kind of what I thought. I wonder if I should just- yeah, there we go. Now that I know the timing. Bodily, I will see you in about five seconds. Might as well snag this. Since, you know, lots of star points. I kind of hate when, um... This was one of the things that bothered me in Epic Yarn. There's one world where, like, you have to have precise timing jumps in order to get what was it, buttons, I want to say? I don't know, for some reason I don't like when things are hidden amongst time jumps because it's really easy to miss, you know, case in point. Here we are, missing a thing. So, having things like that, I don't know if I really agree with them just because, you know, having, fuck, time jumps. 
like that, and making them a certain time is also very, you know, it's very easy to miss. I don't like that. So, you know, you have to try, like, multiple times in order to get something. I'm not a big fan of that, like, period in games. Like, not even just Kirby. Like, Kirby is a good example. Here we are, having them twice, and then having an epic garden where there's a stage. It's only, like, one stage where that happens, but still, it's something that I've always kind of hated, where collectibles are. Oh, you have to go a certain direction in order to collect said thing. So, you know, having it being easily missed is something that's not something I necessarily agree with. So now I have to make my timing perfect. There we go. There, hopefully that's the last one of that said example, because otherwise I'll be angry. Make sure I jump. Whoa, over the gaps. See, I don't know what gaps I need to jump, or I don't know which ones will send me creating off the edge. Maybe it's better to not jump until I see that happen. Yeah. And then I don't have enough reaction time, because I did not see what the obstacle was. Oh, this takes me back to the land of Donkey Kong Country. Oh, the minecart level in that game. Okay, so we're finally done here, so let's see. I think, yeah, this is the one where I need stone bombs, so hopefully I don't fuck up. If I do, then I will just get it later and show you where it is, like I usually do. Curse you! I can't fly up and avoid it. Game Dezelliverse had that in mind for this. There we go. Excuse me, thank you. I might as well go careening down the hill here. Non-stop a action! Oh, that was actually like, hmm, that was actually kind of a good strategy. Until that point, oops. As I just jump right into things. Give me your lives. And also your star points for lives. I don't remember seeing those things ever again in any Kirby game. The thwomp-like things. Pretty sure they're not in there. Ooh, I see you up there. You can't hide from me. At least this game, when you restart it, it gives you a lot of opportunities to um, be able to... Um, what, was I, what was I thinking of? To actually get lives, you know, which is kind of nice. I'm not gonna be able to, oh, I was going to say that thing's going to come careening down to me immediately. So that's not going to work, but never mind. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Don't worry. Everything's good. But yeah, this game is pretty generous as live, even though you will lose a lot of them, it seems like. At least for this one, as I mentioned, I find I lose more lives just either by dying, jumping off something, or actually getting hurt enough times to lose a life. Usually that's like impossible in Kirby games. Speaking of lives, whoop. I'm pretty sure you are not bomb. You know something I realized as I'm going through this water area? I don't think Kirby's ever had a water power, I'm pretty sure. Like, I'm pretty sure that has never been a thing. Whoops. In any of the games. I know there's bubble, but that doesn't really count. <laughs> oh, shit. Shoot. 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 There we go. Yeah, it'd be really cool to see a water-type power in a, in a Kirby game. I wonder what that would be or look like to summon waves or something, you know? That'd be neat. I'm just thinking about what power Kirby powers would be cool at this point. There hasn't been? I know there hasn't been water. There's tornado, so that's wind. And stone is earth, obviously. You are not the power I need. You are the power I don't need, ever. Get out of here, Spark. I need bomb at some point. Aw, oh, poor fish. I need... No, I don't need you. Don't tell me I have to, like, go amalgamate this power somewhere. Where am I? Am I dead? Okay. This is a predicament. Can... Can I... I am just mashing A at this point. Oh, I'm still in rock power, that's why. Haha, <laughs> that's why that didn't work. I was like, whoa, hey, you shouldn't do that. Trying to kill me like that? What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you, man? I will destroy you with my shrapnel. Come down. There you go, come close. Perfect. Jeez, everything's just trying to kill me, man. I will definitely grab this cake, this delicious cake. I don't know what power that's supposed to be, if anything. Lots of cutter here. I don't want any more stone cutter. I've had enough of rolling the bird. Too much of rolling the bird. I see you. I see you. Can I... Okay, good. I was just gonna say, can I get out of here without taking any damage from that thing? We shall see. There. Has no choice but to come close. Get rid of this thing immediately. 
before it murders me. Oh my god, enough of your cutter crap. I'm gonna probably, at this point, I'm gonna have to definitely find bomb elsewhere, it seems like. Yeah, because this is where I need it right here, I'm pretty sure. Unless it's uh, further up. Let's find out. I'm going to guess that it is probably not. So I'm going to have to do some backtracking and find out where I can get bomb very easily. We shall see. And then I can show off a stone bomb, which I haven't done yet. I know that for a fact. Is this just the boss? Oh man, such a good boss! <laughs> wow. I kind of miss the actual, like, mini-bosses in Kirby. This one doesn't seem to have them at all. It's just regular enemies, just with a higher hit point. We defeated the mini-boss, good. Like, I miss the little elephant, the bug that, like, suplexed you. Nice, empty tomato. Not that I needed it right now, but I appreciate it nonetheless. I wonder if I can... Maybe Stone Bomb is possible somewhere along the line here, and I can maybe backtrack. Yeah, the weird thing about- ooh boy, that was dicey. The weird thing about um, having the rice ball taken out is that uh, Waddle Dee will still eat one at the very end there when you're, you know, about to do the bonus jump. Oh no, this was for naught! <laughs> yeah, I had a feeling that was gonna be for naught. Well, I guess we need to get Stone Bomb eventually anyways. I'll just finish this level off and then I'll just make it cut. Showing that I've gotten said Stone Bomb and show you where the crystal is and then I think- I don't think I can easily escape without beating the stage again, so I'll just do that on my own time. But yeah, I'll definitely show off where the, um... Oops. I keep thinking I eat both of those things when I eat that one, but that is not the case. Oh, dicey situations. I don't... I don't like it! Go, 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 go! There. I knew I needed to spit out after. There. Dang it! This is what... Oh, I was just gonna say, it's like, this. there's nothing happening here. Is this the end? Okay, yeah, that's the end. Again, I will make my attempt for lies because I need them at this point. Yay! Life has been achieved. I lost the life I just got for five seconds. Okay, so I'm going to make a edit here, so when I come back I will be having a snow bomb. So I'll be right back. Alright, so I have gotten Stone Bomb. This power... Oh boy, this one is bad. As in, real bad. So let's throw a piece of dynamite and immediately duck, because it will destroy everything on screen, including yourself. So yeah, you want to make sure you press down immediately after you throw your dynamite, otherwise you will get hurt by your own power. And don't do it in midair like I just did, because since you're in the middle of the air, you're going to be not able to duck right away. So yeah, this power is really bad. Which is going to make this area super fun. See, as you can see, it's powerful, sure, but there's a huge risk of dying. So yeah, there's that power in a nutshell. I'll finish off the rest of the stage, so once again, I will be right back. Okay, so before I started this next stage off, I decided to get a power that wouldn't make me kill myself immediately. So I decided to just get Needle. Just basic Needle. Oh, well, speaking of Needle, let's do a chance for the double Needle. This hat's always real good. Please stop rolling, sir. I don't. I think if I toss this at him, he's going to deflect it, so yeah, better just to just get regular Needle. Or double Needle, I should say. Yeah, what's better than regular Needle? The gross power of double needle, of course. I know your bomb, get out of here. I haven't gotten needle and bomb, I don't think. I'm kind of terrified as to what that would be, though, based on the fact that uh, stone and bomb was really, really bad. And I hope I never have to have it as a requirement ever again. Oh, that almost like ran right into my face. <laughs> that was good. At least we're on, like... Uh, cooler looking stages now. That's always nice. So yeah, we needed that to break the orange block so we can get oh, the shards. You know, when I played this game when I was much younger, I would rent it from the video store every weekend. We would go to the set video store. Those things, I'm pretty sure, do not exist anymore. If they do, they are few and far between. I think there's like 
maybe like one or two blockbusters left. We used to rent from 24 hour video and sometimes Rogers would have video game rentals. Yeah, that was weird. Rogers was like an actual store that had movie rentals, video game rentals before they were a cell phone place. Only and well, TV, cell phone, and uh, you know, internet, like your basic uh, provider of those kinds of things, at least here anyways. I don't know if that's a thing in the States, but it's definitely a Canadian company here for sure. Anyways, as I was saying, every weekend, uh, basically, I would spend my allowance immediately like a good person would, well, not most, like, not all of my allowance. I would, you know, get five dollars and video game rentals were like three bucks back then. Yeah, they're a good price. Actually, it depended on the game, I think. If it was, like, really popular or whatever, it would cost more. Also, you know, those really popular games, a lot of people decided to just keep them at home instead of return them. And, uh, I would rent this game sometimes here and there. I never actually owned this game for my N64. I did play through it. I did beat it. This, like I said, this was, like, forever ago, you know, like, in my teens, I want to say. Or teens slash early 20s. Whoa, boy. I thought that green platform was a part of it, but it was not, so that was, could have been dangerous. And, um, you know, after I beat this game all the way through, I never actually collected all the crystal shards. I would, you know, search far and wide, and I would never actually... I never I never did 100% completion. Ever. So this will be a first for me, because there was always like one or two that I was missing, and I had no idea what I needed to do, or what combination of powers that I needed to have, despite some of the things I remember, some of the things I look up. But anyways, so, hat. Got it. That is just a hat. <laughs> okay. We got it. Hat. Oh, I have to make a picture of a hat? Oh my god. How am I going to do this with Deedle? <laughs> okay. Well, actually, there's an easy way of doing this. An easy way that'll take forever. Oh fuck, I fucked it up already. Is it still a hat? Yeah, it's still a hat. Okay. Because I know if I turn into a needle, I'm gonna ruin the entire picture, and this is gonna be a process, but it'll at least make a picture of a hat this way. Okay, there's that side. This is like the most random thing, like... I wonder if this is, um... It's always a picture of a hat? Or if it's just like... Um, it could just be whatever. And now for the thing we've been wanting to do. Wanton destruction! Nice. I love that. Love it. It's good. Okay, so let's see what's up next. the hell are you? I never got the chance to see what there was. Yeah, other games, you know, I rented. That was kind of how I got into more games because, you know, back in the day, games are still, like, pretty much the same price as they are now. And, you know, uh still bad then uh you know i was younger didn't really have a job until like when i was like legally allowed to work in canada basically and then on my allowance i would you know i would just save up for certain things like games i wanted or consoles that i wanted i had a plan basically at one point when i was younger that i would save my allowance up or my paycheck up and eventually that is probably not a good thing to do yeah, as soon as I seen that first block fall and I wanted to kill that thing, I was like, this is immediately a bad idea. Yeah, so I was even at one point saving up for a uh, GameCube to buy my own Volition. So that was that would have been interesting if I got to see that through, but I never did because I ended up just getting that as a present anyways. But people were like, wow, you were able to save up that much. I think this thing's needle. Oops. I think it is. Perhaps we can see... Oh no, it's Cutter! Mm. 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 Hmm. Hmm. Um, how was that a miss? <laughs> Whatever. I could double stone or I could... Uh, I'm just remembering the last part and being like, no! Although I think that would actually be better to handle. How was that cutter though? I don't quite understand. Give me your powers. That was a complete, total awful failure. I am ashamed. Well, whatever. I have Cutter now, so I guess that works. <laughs> Except Cutters are, like, way too slow to work with. I suppose I will give in to the Cutter Stone. Where are you going, sir? Come back here, I need you. There we go. Now for this all over again. Yeah, I was also double-checking. I looked this up, too, just to make sure I wasn't, like, a crazy, insane person. The fish actually does nothing. 
so yeah, I was like, mm, am I pressing buttons wrong? Is that... <sighs> crap. Is that what the problem is? Is that what I'm doing wrong? Is that I just don't know how to play games? No, the fish is confirmed to do nothing, so yeah. In case somebody was wondering, fish does nothing. It literally does nothing. I looked it up. Uh, Owl does the same thing. It triple jumps. Uh, Ricky, who is the hamster, this guy here, he does wall jumps. Um, Cat, I forget what he does. I think he does... No, wait, does he do the triple jump? Yeah, he does the triple jump. Okay. Fish does nothing. Literally does nothing. This thing just kind of, like, floats and has a better, higher jump point. Oops. No, it was the power I wanted. No, everything is wrong forever. I wonder if it's that guy, if that's going to just be too risky for me to just go through this entire thing as bird, based on what I'm seeing up here. Owl just flies. Much slower than bird does. I think this thing's needle. Oops. And I'd rather have that than to have that stupid power all over again. There we go. <gasps> we can return to the boys of Double Needle, yes! There we go. I should look up and see what uh, Needle and Stone even is. Oh, I know this. I know this, and I'm not falling for it again. I'll just do the... Oh, this looks like it spells a word. I wonder if that word is going to be Kirby. See, other games I rented at the video store. Final Fantasy, never owned either of those. Um, yeah, both FF2, aka 4, and uh, 6. We rented Secret of Mana, you know, mostly Super Nintendo games. That's how I kind of got into uh, the... Um, oh god. I was going to say Secret of Evo, but I'm like, mm, that's not the game. I'm getting confused between Secret of Evermore and Evo. Evo's a good game. It's hard, though. Oh, I missed one. I'm going to go see where that is, so I will be right back once again. Right, so I found it. It's here. It's down here in the death zone. So yeah, it's kind of in a really dumb, intrusive place, so I will just finish the stage off once again, and I'll be right back. And with that, that world is out of the way. So for this next one, you can kind of see it's a fire level, so what's a good power to bring here? Obviously eyes. So I brought that. I've also brought a long needle, because I know I, for a fact that we've done very little fire mixes. Or... Uh, ice mystics mixes, I should say. So this power is actually really good, and when I'm not, you know, being uh, stomped on almost by rocks and stuff. There you go! Yeah, that wide range is really good. It takes a little bit to, like, uh, happen, but yeah, it's just a giant snowflakes. So, you know, having that protection all the way around. Needle continues to produce really good things, I find. The only bad one is a uh, needle fire, and I guess, well, needle stone's okay. Needlestone is the one that, um, that's the one I thought I never had, but I've actually had it. It's the one that's the, uh, drill. It's the drill. So, that one is the one that's, like, decent, but you have to use it very carefully. Like, very, very, very carefully. Don't you drop your fire crap on me. And also, unlike, um... Whoop, whoop, whoa, okay. I was just gonna say, that was kind of a bad idea. But, uh, unlike, uh, regular double needle where you can move as you jump, you can't really do that with uh, Ice Needle. You are just stationary, so just be careful when you, you know, are muck mucking around with uh, Ice Needle to, like, not... You know, just to be aware that you will just kind of, like, stop in your track as you're jumping, unlike Needle, where you keep your momentum. That's a, that's a good thing I was just trying to describe it. Momentum! Yeah! Words! Words I know I wanted to say, but cannot say them, because I don't know meanings of things sometimes. Momentum. Yes. I'm just going to avoid all of the things that are below me, because that's probably a good idea. And I will freeze all of the things around me, because that's also a good idea. Aw, oh, I missed. Run into me, you idiot. Thank you. Yeah, so having firepower for this place, you know, probably a bad idea. Hey, it's King DDD time! Let's go. Unfortunately, I don't have that all-around protection. I just have uh, the DDD hammer. Oops. Oh, I have to... Ah, got it. Okay. So it's gonna say I have to make sure this doesn't fall on my face, probably? Probably a good thing, yes, if it, did, if it doesn't fall on my face, you know? And yeah, DDD can't float in this. I forgot. Everything out of the way! I have to also make sure there's nothing on the roof there. Because knowing the way this game works, it is probably hidden somewhere amongst the roof. 
Oops. Oh, yeah, other uh, games I played that I rented from the video store that were like more N64 or World War 4 related. I know I played uh, Quest 64, which is really, really bad. Oh, yeah, you can. I think you can break the tops of these too. Yeah, there's not a lot of good RPGs on the N64, like, at all. So uh, that's kind of the one thing the system lacks, for sure. There we go. I knew I could break the tops of these at some point. I knew there was a secret. Which is unfortunate, because, I mean, the N64 was an okay console. I mean, it had a good, it's good share of good games. You know, it was kind of like the start of the um, multiplayer era, as it were. You know, when you just kind of sat around the couch and uh, had some fun with friends. I knew that was going to happen. It's like, I'm either going to land into the ra lava or I'm going to land into that thing. Thanks, DDD. Love that he just, like, hurls him into space. That's kind of nice. But yeah, you know, it's, the N64 kind of started the multiplayer days of having a bunch of friends come over, play games with you. It had the Smash Brothers, it had Mario Party, which is interesting because the first Mario Party is never going to be on the Wii Shop or the Virtual Console ever. Hmm, this seems dangerous and probably a bad thing. Let's find out what happens. I thought that was going to spurt up immediately because that would more than likely be a thing that this game does. For sure. Uh, okay. I have a feeling that I... I feel like I missed something already, but maybe not. Because I haven't really explored too terribly much. I'm just surprised this game hasn't done the... You know, being an ice level, it hasn't done... Or fire level, it hasn't done the... Oh no, you have to run from the fire! But maybe that's a thing that is going to happen, probably. Just by looking at it. It looks like it could be potentially that. Coming up here. Yeah, there's the Mario Party. Smash Brothers. All three Mario Parties! Two is real good. Two had a good collection of minigames, plus, you know, they dressed up in costumes, so that's always fun. And of course, who could forget Goldeneye? I never really played that game too terribly much. I'm not really a FPS fan at all. So, yeah. If any if anybody was ever wondering, Hi, are you ever gonna do an FPS game? The answer is mm, probably not. It's just not my kind of thing. But it did, you know, change the FPS franchise, as it were, so that's always cool. The multiplayer franchise of FPS, you know, that's kind of how Halo and stuff got their popularity, and of course the CODs now, too. Get out of the way, Phoenix Bird! Don't you put your droppings on me! Jeez, that's rude. Now jump over. This one's gonna be interesting to kind of get around, yeah, without running into that thing is the other thing, too. Yeah, so far in this game, too, I've only ever seen, oops, one instance of, a. Uh, I was kind of broken looking, one instance of ice, too, being found, so I was like, where the hell was ice? Anyways. Okay, that's kind of a dickish place to put that, because you have to jump over that very slightly without getting hurt. That's kind of a bad thing. Don't make your players purposely die games, jeez! Okay, this just kind of screams run from the- here we go! Yup, here it is! Run from the things! Just run, just go. It's better just to go. Than to waste my time. Dicking around. Hopefully I don't need any of these powers! Hopefully there's no uh, thing to be found either. Shard. Because if I there is, then I don't have enough time. There's no time to search for it! Knowing this game, there's definitely is one, though. Somewhere around this area is my guess, anyways. Oh, you dick. You maybe get stuck on you. Yeah, so I'm looking forward to seeing what the good ending is in this. I know, like, for, like I said, I haven't gotten the ending that requires all the shards. Ooh, boy! Again, Dicey! Where is it? Where's that shard? I know it's somewhere. It has to be. It has to be in this section. Like, it, there is no choice. It has to be. Um, hmm, maybe not. Oh, I was just gonna say, is it still gonna keep chasing me? Oh, yep, yeah, here it is. Here is the one from above. Which I have to run from. Or below, I should say, not above. Where is it? Where is it? There it is. Found you. 
Nope. I need to fly and not do that thing. Get out of the way, motherfucker. Ugh. I knew this was coming. Like, this is a fire stage. There is no way they would not. With a fire stage, there is always a run from the lava sequence. Oh no, do not give me this, please. I don't have a good power for this. Frigid cakes! Oh gosh! Mashing that A button, you can hear the A mash. A mash, so good. And then, uh, then it's just this. They're just having a pick. It's like, yeah, what's up, Kirby? How's it going? You just, you were just running from lava. Don't worry about it. It's like, jeez. Jeez, did you not know what was happening? Okay, so this should be the boss. Fire boss, let's go. I got the best thing for you, sir. I was just fire blob. Come at me. <laughs> I dare you. There is nothing you can do about this situation. Oh, I guess there is. I was like, oh yeah, this is gonna be just fine. Oh, I should move. Okay, now I understand this boss's fingers, whatever they may be, is the weakness. It's dead. <laughs> it has died. Okay, maybe not. I can tell this power is gonna be... Oh, what? How did that not hurt it? Oh, it hasn't activated the second force yet. I see. I should have waited. There you go. Yeah, I should have waited till this point. Then I could have just hurtled up beside it and cozied up and just been ice boys. There, I have a bird to shoot at you. <laughs> oh, this is gonna take a long time now. Oh. Oh. How am I supposed to avoid that? <laughs> I'm gonna die now. Because I didn't know how I was supposed to avoid that other than maybe hopefully hide in the corner and hope for the best. There, I have two birds. Take that! There you go. That was more damage. Oh. Oh, shoot. I was gonna say, if, if it's gonna do it at the top, I could go to the bottom, but that was kind of a dumb idea. Try it again. How am I supposed to do this first part without a power? Can I inhale and spit at you? Oh, this, I guess. I suppose that would work. There you go, have some fun with that. Oh. Now it's doing some new things. Now that we are regular curb, we can see the things that it could do. Is this a power? Let's find out. Yep, it is. Although this is like a very bad power to have for this. Case in point. Yeah. <laughs> Just ram myself into things. It seems better just to get rid of it than to mess around with fire. I was gonna say, if that's not fire power, I don't know what is. I have an idea. This is gonna be real a dangerous, dangerous plan. Come on. Fine. Be a jerk. Oh no! I didn't even I didn't even like release B when I wanted to. It was like I was trying to shoot it, but nothing happened actually. I was seeing if I could get double fire like a reckless nut, because that seems like the best of plans, obviously. I should probably start messing around, or stop messing around, not start messing around, because I'm already messing around. Dang it! Go to the platforms that I'm standing on, come on! There we go. Oh, could have double fired there. I guess it's kind of a pointless endeavor. Especially given how dangerous double fire probably is going to be. There, let me just ram into you with my... Yeah, I'm just gonna land immediately into the fire, so probably a bad idea to have this. You know what's even better? Okay, let's see how much of an awful decision this is. Let's find out together. Here it comes. How bad of a decision is this? Oh, very bad. I'm sure it'll be perfectly fine later on. At least we can see double fire in all of its glory. Shoom! The effect is pretty neat, though. Like, I like that, how it looks like a phoenix. That's pretty cool. Hey, guess what? I got double fire. Let's ram it to you. 
Does that actually not work? Because it's he's a fire boss. Oh my god, they thought of everything. Oh, it's this, the thing I don't know how to dodge. I think I have to be close to him to do that. Is this... Oh, I was gonna say, is this stone? The world may never know. Okay, well, now that we now that we basically killed ourselves that entire boss battle, let's actually fight for serious. Note to self, having double fire is kind of bad for this boss fight that has made a fire. Who would have thought? Not, not me. Because I'm a smart person. Clearly. Oh, that was a complete yes that that would show up there. I was hoping that it would go all the way to the edge. And hit it from far away. Perhaps that will work. Caught it just in time. There, now to wait for things to happen. Back over here. At least we know the pattern for this boss now, at this point. That's kind of weird that it would, like... Well, I guess it's not weird that it would give you firepower, but, like, why bother to find out that, like, the later sections of the boss won't work against firepower. I mean, who would have thought? But still, I don't know. It's like, it's just kind of weird. There, one more chance how to do it. I hope. Ah, oh, dang it! The block was in the way! The low and rise of the block! Who would have thought that would be in the way? There, that should hopefully kill it. At least section one, anyways. Because if that thing gives me rock, this thing is as good as dead. It's probably going to give me fire, knowing this game. It's time to lay. Yeah, I guess since the whale, we've always had uh, two, two phases of the boss, it seems like. Oops. Can I sock up two birds? Nope, just one. I was hoping I could get more damage in, but that's fine. Let's see if going close to this thing will work. Yep, going close is the answer. Now we know. Shoot your birds! Or your rocks! I don't care which. I just need something to deal the damage to you. Please and thank you. There we go. It's probably gonna take at least three more birds. Oh. Couldn't get close enough in time. I like how Kirby is just still smiling after that. Do you give me rock? No, you give me nothing. That's unfortunate. A rock doesn't give a rock. Power. A shame. We'll just stand in the lava. I'm sure it's fine. Give me more things to shoot with, please. There we go. Two birds. That'll help. That'll definitely help. There. Take your devil fighter and stuff it. There, that should finish it off. Rock in the face, right between the eyes. Bonk. There we go. <laughs> oh, that was a long video. Longer than it should have been, because I fucked around. <laughs> Look at its splendor. So nice. And volcano erupts. Yep. Who would have thought? Is that, uh... Moon Planet? No, not Waddle Dee, our favorite character! Guess they'll just eat him and save him. That works, too. Okay, so that's... Oh. Ice World! Hooray! Okay, that's it for this part. Thank you for watching. See ya.